Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, shaded uh, equilateral uh, triangle and the brown uh, shaded uh, equilateral uh, triangle as well, fully confined uh, in a blue square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue square A, B, C, D has been given to us as uh, 96 uh, square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded equilateral triangle and the area of this uh, brown shaded equilateral triangle as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step before we could calculate the area of these uh, two triangles, we must find uh, the side length uh, of uh, these uh, triangles. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, side of this uh, blue square is equal to the side length uh, of this uh, green shaded triangle. And now I'm going to label uh, this side length of this uh, blue square as uh, two times a. I'm going to label this one two times uh, a, two times uh, a, and two times a across the board since we are dealing with the square. And now you might be wondering how come I took uh, two times a, why not uh, just simply a? I took the side uh, two times a on purpose and you will see that this uh, two times a is going to make our life a lot simpler. So thus the side length of this uh, green uh, equilateral triangle turns out to be 2 times a. So therefore uh, this side length of this green triangle is going to be 2 times a and 2 times uh, a as well since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle. And since we are dealing with this uh, green shaded equilateral triangle so therefore uh, all its uh, interior angles are going to be 60 degrees each. And likewise uh, these interior angles of this uh, brown uh, shaded equilateral triangles are going to be 60 degrees each. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole angle of this uh, blue square is uh, 90 degrees. And we know this angle is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore uh, this remaining angle has got to be 30 degrees. And likewise uh, this angle is going to be 30 degrees uh, as well since this angle is 60 degrees. And now we can see that this uh, triangle uh, FBC uh, is our isosceles triangle. Since this angle is 30 degrees and likewise this angle is 30 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side uh, BF length is going to be equal to this side uh, CF length. And now in this uh, next step I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, FP on this uh, base BC and since we are dealing with this uh, isosceles uh, triangle so therefore uh, we can see that this uh, segment uh, BP equal to this segment uh, CP and we know this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 2 times A so therefore uh, this uh, side uh, BP is going to be lowercase a and this side is lowercase a as well and now we are going to focus on this uh, tiny right triangle FPC. We can see this angle is 30 degrees. This angle is a 90 degree angle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. So therefore we can see that this uh, triangle FPC is our special 30, 60, 90 triangle. And in this uh, FPC triangle 30 degrees is our uh, smallest uh, angle and 90 degrees is our uh, largest angle. So the side opposite to this uh, 30 degrees is going to be this side and this is going to be our smallest leg. And this uh, hypotenuse is going to be opposite to uh, 90 degrees. So this is going to be our uh, longest side. So in such kind of 30, 60, 90 special triangle, the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg. If the smallest leg is 1, then the longest leg is going to be 2. And this third leg has got to be the square root of 3. And in general, if our smallest leg is x, then our longest leg is going to be 2 times x. 
and this uh, third leg is going to be x times uh, the square root of uh, 3 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side uh, cp length is x times square root of 3 and this is also lowercase a so therefore i could equate them i can write uh, x times uh, the square root of uh, 3 equals to a and now i'm going to divide both sides uh, by square root of uh, 3 to isolate uh, x so therefore we can see this is gone so therefore our x value simply turns out to be a divided by the square root of uh, 3 and now we are going to focus on this uh, side length uh, fc whose uh, side is 2 times x and our x value is uh, a divided by square root of 3 so therefore if we substitute uh, x value that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, lowercase a divided by the square root of 3 so thus the side length uh, of this uh, brown shaded triangle uh, turns out to be 2 times a divided by square root of 3 and now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, blue square ABCD whose uh, area has been given to us as uh, 96 uh, square units and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of this square is 2 times A and the area is uh, 96 so therefore we can write uh, 2 times uh, A whole square is going to be equal to 96 the area so therefore we can see our uh, a square value simply turns out to be equal to 24 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, equilateral uh, triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, a times b times uh, sine of angle c as you can see in this given triangle here we got these two sides uh, a and b and c is the angle in between so therefore we can see that our uh, side lengths for this uh, green uh, triangle are going to be 2 times a and 2 times a and the angle in between is uh, 60 degrees so therefore the area is going to be a half uh, times our uh, side length is uh, 2 times a times once again side length 2 times a times uh, sine of uh, angle uh, 60 degrees and now we know that our uh, sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace that sine of 60 degrees with the square root of 3 divided by 2 over here and likewise we can see this 2 and 1 divided by 2 they are gone and here we can see this uh, 2 and 2 they are gone and now we know our uh, a square value is 24 so I'm going to substitute that value 24 over here so therefore uh, our this uh, green triangle area is going to be 24 times uh, the square root of 3 square uh, units and finally we are going to calculate the area of the other uh, triangle brown equilateral triangle uh, as well and we can see the side length of this uh, brown triangle is 2 times a divided by square root of 3 and we are going to apply the very same uh, area of triangle formula once again and here we can see our angle between the side lengths is uh, 60 degrees as well so therefore uh, the brown uh, equilateral triangle area is going to be a half uh, times our side length is uh, 2 times a divided by square root of uh, 3 and then times uh, 2 times a divided by square root of uh, 3 and then times uh, sine of angle uh, 60 degrees and now we know that sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 and furthermore uh, square root of 3 times uh, square root of 3 is going to give us simply 3 and here we can see 2 2 makes 4 and 4 divides into 4 as well so therefore we are ended up with the uh, a square times uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 and now we know that our a square value is 24 so I'm going to substitute that value 24 over here so therefore we can write uh, 24 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 
and now if we reduce that is going to give us uh, 8 times uh, square root of 3 square uh, units the area of this uh, brown triangle so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the green equilateral triangle turns out to be 24 times square root of 3 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 41.57 square units as well and furthermore uh, the brown equilateral triangle area is going to be 8 times square root of 3 square units in other words uh, it's approximately equal to 13.86 square units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye